Uh, this is a speedometer or a dial chart which is commonly used in dashboards to give information on a status of a metric or KPL. So this, the cell that is highlighted here is what is represented in this dial chart. If the value is changed here, the needle moves. Let's see how to make this chart in Excel. So this chart is made by three components, two donor charts and a pie chart. And this is the data that we will use. This data table will, will be used to represent the scales. This will be used to represent the performance level. And this is the metric which we, we will represent on the dial chart. So we need another cell that will be used to plot the pointer. And I will take the pointer thickness to be 2. And we will need another cell that will consists of the remaining values. So this plus this minus this minus this. Now first begin by adding a donut chart that will represent these scales. This data table here will be used to represent the scales in our dial chart. So let's select this data series and insert a donut chart from here like this I will remove the chart title and legend for now and change the size now we can change the direction or the orientation of the chart by clicking on format data point and making the angle as 270 degrees Next, we'll change, make this graph a monochromatic. We'll change the colors later. Now we have to remove this bottommost part. So we'll select this. We'll say format data point, and we will say no fill. We'll include the data labels. but we'll include the labels from here and we'll unselect this value this is what we have now we have to add the next component that is display of the levels so we add data And we add this series from here. We'll add data labels here. However, we will select these values to be displayed from these cells. And we'll remove this. We'll remove this. Next, we'll hide this bottommost part to make it in a semicircular format. So we'll say no fill here. And we can change the colors of our remaining segments. So at this point, I will make it as red in color. This point I will make yellow in color and this one I prefer to have green in color. Now the third component is the pointer which remains to be added. So we will select data and we will add this series which will form our pointer. Now this has to be a pie chart. So we will select this and we will change the series chart type from donut to pie like this. Next we have to change the orientation. We have to reset the orientation. So we will select this format data series and we will 
make the angle as 270 degrees and the thinner most slice uh, is our pointer so we have to hide the remaining two slices so we will select them and we will say no fill similarly for this we will say no fill however our pointer has to be highlighted so we will select it and we will change the color to black we can also pop this point by a few percent so that it pops out at this stage our basic chart is ready we can add a text box to highlight the kpi which we want to display so for that we will insert a text box like this and we will point this to this kpi and our basic dial chart is ready if we change the kpi value from here then it will move accordingly. 